How's it going, boys? It's me, your favorite Snake Souls merchant. Today I want to talk about League of Legends. A.k.a. the problem that has persisted through pretty much all of the League of Legends history. The fact that Riot seemingly is incapable of balancing their game properly. Now, I will admit, I was of the same opinion for a very long time. But at one moment, I just stopped and thought about it. Does it even make sense for the League of Legends to be balanced? Does Riot even want to balance League of Legends? And then I thought more and more and more, and then I understood that, wait a minute. Riot fundamentally gains more by not balancing League of Legends. That there's always that, uh, that aspect that something is overpowered, that something is underpowered, and uh, so on. Because at the start, Riot did try to balance the game. And that went, well, I'm gonna, sh uh, I'm gonna share with you my favorite example that happened like a million years ago. But Callista's attack speed got nerfed on level 1 by 0 0.04. And everyone was horrified, it was the end of Callista. GG, complete shit there, champion. Oh no, the horror, how will she actually be played now? In reality, everyone understands, while in a percentile sense, 0 0.04 probably means something, but in the real, real time, real space, real life, most likely doesn't mean shit. You see, that was when League of Legends tried to balance things. They kind of sucked at it. But now they completely, fully, in my opinion, embrace the fact that they should not balance things. There is always going to exist some role that's going to be better than others. Playing League of Legends not like playing a rock, paper, scissors. It's like playing a rock, paper, scissors, lizard, Spock. And Spock is the most powerful 100% of all the times. And it is not something you can choose. It is a given title and you win by default. That is pretty much the situation League of Legends is. And, in my opinion, again, Riot wants it to be there. Think about it. League of Legends is essentially a very stale game in the sense. You go into the match, you pick your role, you pick your champion, and pretty much 9 out of 10 games, you're never going to do anything different on that champion. You're never going to level a different skill, you're never buying a different item. You're doing the exact same thing. And that, for some people, is a turn-off. They get bored after a while. But, if Riot always freshens up the balance, air quotes balance, by making something broken at a certain time, a role, a, a position, or whatever, then, well, people actually are forced to adapt and change. You see, when you play League of Legends, there's this interesting concept. If you're losing, in a lot of cases, you can literally just say, that champion is brokenly overtuned and it sucks to play against. And that's your excuse. You don't have to blame yourself. Hell, you don't even have to blame your team half of the time. Most of the time, it's just because the champion you are up against is dumb because Riot doesn't know how to balance things. AKA, you're not mad at yourself, you're not mad at your team, you're mad at Riot. Which means, you're, it's much easier for you to just play, uh, cl uh, click the press, uh, the, the press the play next game. Because it wasn't your fault, it was Riot's fault. And then you win, the enemy has the same feelings, and essentially it, cre it creates a perpetual loop of, yeah, we just lost because something's overpowered. And that's it. Not my fault, not anyone's fault. Hell, we just lost because it's overpowered. Go, go, GG, no re, go next. That's pretty much the situation here. So, Riot usually tries to make a singular role the strongest. And most of the time the flak is given to the tank role, because if you t if you look deeper into the building of Champions in League of Legends, <clears throat> it kind of boils down essentially super easily. There's not a whole lot of unique champions, but in your, in your example, looking in the mid lane, uh, there are pretty much only two types of champions, burst damage and periodical damage. And both these champions have the exact same template. Now, I played mid lane a lot, so I know this. Uh, if you count the total ability damage, uh, ability power scaling for every hero, a couple of years ago it was uh, starting for 
uh, from 270 AP percent to 300 AP percent. And some champions had a little bit more, but essentially the same balance still is applied nowadays. If you're a range, uh, if you're a ranged AP dealer, then your scaling is gonna be that blah blah blah, and it's gonna be a certain amount of AP, depending on how uh, how much channeling your abilities have, so to speak. If you and you're gonna build the same thing, essentially this is the balance. Everyone complains about AP mages because AP mage items are the best. Well, here's the perspective of the AP mid player. If you do not one shot someone, you're useless because now you can't one shot someone, and your best uh, ab uh, option is to CC someone. If an AP mage can't one shot someone, they're essentially useful. Why? Because a tank's gonna heal, a bruiser's gonna heal, and the only one who can you can de uh, one shot by default most of the time is the AD carry, and the AD carry is usually not at the front. So if an AP mid is not capable of one-shotting a top laner, well, it just feels shit. No one wants to play AP mid because of that. Same thing goes for the top laners. If they don't get one shot, they just heal up because most top lane ca uh, ca champions have some kind of gimmick that heals them up or whatever. If you get one shot, you're mad. Where's the balance? Oh, Riot, please, where is the balance? He just one-shotted me. If I make magic resistance, then he just buys one item that gives him 40 or 50% magic pen, and all, and all of that effort comes to uh, waste. It is just a literal circle. But mostly in this circle, I think tanks get fucked, because being a tank is kind of the mentally the most trickiest part. You see, tanks and bruisers are literally uh, the same side of the coin. It is the same coin. It is also the same exact side of the coin. The difference is, tanks are supposed to deal burst damage, and then their damage falls off. Bruisers, on the other hand, have burst, but uh, they have perpetually uh, more periodic damage. So, if a tank fights a bruiser, if the tank items are sufficiently buffed enough, well, the bruiser feels like shit because he can't do anything because the tank is not uh, taking damage, but in reality they're dealing almost the same type of damage against each other, which is the ironic part. You see, when it comes to, for example, tanks, it's all about the mindset that the tank should not be capable of dealing so much damage. In reality, the tank is not dealing so much damage. He just accumulates the damage over a period of time, but considering that you, as a bruiser, top lane, cannot deal uh, the damage you want to deal to him, it feels like the tank is outscaling you, while in reality they not, that may not be the case. Yeah, that's literally League of Legends in a nutshell. Also, uh, for mid laners again, there's a certain amount of AP scaling that everyone has, and if a in like nine ta nine out the uh, nine ta times out of ten, if a hero does not have the same AP scaling, if it's an AP hero, that uh, that hero is intended to build Lich Bane to compensate for that damage. Yeah, if your AP scaling as an AP hero does not fit the AP scaling of Lux, uh, that means that you were literally supposed to ma uh, make Lich Bane. Nine, nine, ti nine times out of ten, the hero is t intended to make Lich Bane because he can utilize Lich Bane effectively. Thus, he gets the extra damage so he can scale up to the same level as Lux or whatever hero. Yeah, kind of insane stuff, honestly, here, boys. Obviously, a bit different for uh, AP top lanes, but yeah. Uh, bot lane, junglers, they're all the exact same thing, you know? They are literally the exact same thing. The, the, the defining thing about, do, uh, for example, ADC caddies is literally the ability to dash. How mobile they are. If they're not mobile enough, well, they're a little bit worse. It is insane. You think, League of, uh, you think Riot cannot balance this? Of course they can balance this, but they don't want to. You see, from a business standpoint, keeping the game fresh is pretty hard. You actually need to make changes and whatnot. But if a certain role is always in the position of Spock, aka better than everything else, people who are in lesser roles, it doesn't matter if they play uh, normal, ranked, if they're silver 1, if they're silver 5, if they're bronze, or if they're challenger, 
they probably won't win games. AKA, they're gonna slowly gravitate towards the broken role. And maybe you were initially an ADC player, and now you need to play the top lane because that's the hot shit currently. So, all the ADCs you bought, now you need to buy the top lanes. Maybe you do not have enough shards, crystals, riot points, IP points, whatever the default get, get, get free currency is now. Maybe you do not have that and you're gonna spend money. Now you're playing that role all the time and hey, that default 2 deer looks like garbage. Now you want a skin for it. You see, having an overpowered role is always good. Because it keeps the players engaged, it keeps it fresh, and it keeps people rotating between champions, roles, and uh, essentially spending mo more, uh, more money. Oh yes. So, from Riot's perspective, there is absolutely not the slightest reason to actually touch the balance. If something's broken, the only time that something is broken out of Riot's intended standards is... When a champion hits like a 60% win rate at the higher tier of gameplay, that is when the champion is literally too easy. That is when they, uh, they, when they have fucked up and gave uh, given some champion just too much scaling or too much base uh, damage on skills or something like that. Or maybe the items are too good, who knows. But yeah, that's the only time that Riot actually fucks up. But if a specific role is complete dog shit, or if a specific role is completely overpowered, that is 100% fine for Riot, because that's gonna make them more, uh, more money at the end of the day. You know? That's just how it is. So, yeah, that's pretty much it. It's an interesting situation that League of Legends does not intend to even be balanced. A little bit insane, but that's just how life works. So this was Quizzer Sensen. Thanks for watching. Subscribe if you haven't already. Check out the channel. Check out Discord. Check out the Patreon. Check out everything. And have a nice day. Bye bye.